Guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be looking at why NFC tags don't work on metal. We're going to be exploring some practical solutions for these problems, and I'm going to recommend you the best products for these situations. Okay, it is a fact that NFC tags don't work when placed directly on, behind, or adjacent to metal surfaces on the same plane. And the reason for this is because NFC tags work via electromagnetic induction. When your phone scans the tag, you're not just scanning it, you're powering it, and the energy is moving through this antenna and activating the microchip. Metal surfaces absorb that energy. They act as a barrier which prevents the tag from functioning properly, or at all. There are two solutions for this. The first is to put some form of small physical barrier between the metal and the NFC tag. You know, a piece of foam would work, like this. The second solution is to use on-metal products which contain a small ferrite barrier. This ferrite barrier essentially stops the metal from interfering with the functioning of the tag, allowing it to function properly. Ceratag sells a range of on-metal products, labels, discs, and magnets. Now, an important point about this ferrite barrier is that it's incredibly thin, only a fraction of a millimeter in thickness, which means it won't interfere with the aesthetics of your product at all. Additionally, you can get on-metal products where the ferrite layer is built into the tag, so it's not visible, or ones where it's stuck onto the back. Now that we've gone through that, I'm going to take you through three demos which demonstrate how scan performance is affected in these different situations. This is a regular 29mm white label, and this is a 29mm on metal label. These have been placed on a metal surface. As expected, the regular label fails to scan, while the on metal tag successfully scans at a shorter distance. This is a regular 29mm white label, and this is a 29mm on metal label. These have been placed on a wooden surface. While both tags work, the on-metal tag has a reduced scan performance due to the ferrite layer absorbing some energy. If you're not wanting to use an on-metal tag with ferrite, the other option is to create a gap of 5 to 10 millimeters. This can be done with foam or a recess. This is a regular 29 millimeter white label with a foam backing, and this is a 29 millimeter on-metal label. These have been placed on a metal surface. As you can see, the foam is able to scan both of them at a similar scan distance. We also offer a reversed on-metal tag, which is constructed differently to regular on-metal tags, as they have the adhesive on the other side of the antenna to the barrier. These tags are ideal for when you'd like the tag to be hidden or behind something. For example, these tags would be attached to the back of a poster, which would then be placed onto a metal item. Now that you understand how NFC can function on metal and the solutions available, Visit our website to see the rest of our on-metal products. And if you have any questions, feel free to email us and contact our team. They'll be happy to help with your projects. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the notification bell and subscribe to be notified of our future videos and see them in your feed.